what's up my friends welcome back to another video with your host angel martinez i don't even think i'm just wait all right we're going to be talking about tags today so imagine this imagine you're walking down the street and everybody is wearing a tag a simple label on them that defines them that describes maybe it's a personal detail about them maybe it's a need maybe it's something specific to that person, something that they love. Maybe I already said that, but something that they love, right? Something that identifies them, that allows you to be able to either maybe connect with that person specifically, or maybe send a specific message to that person. Obviously in the physical reality world, that'd be a little bit weird. We wouldn't do that. However, in the digital world, this is something that's really cool because kind of think of it in that same way in the digital world, we have so many different contacts, so many different people that we connect with, and it's, it's, it's challenging to keep track of all that, right? We're trying to operate within the ethers of the World Wide Web, and in order for us to be able to manage that, to keep track of our digital database, of, our, of our, all of our contacts, of all of our leads, we can use what's called tags and we can assign those different tags to those contacts in order for us to be able to, again, manage our entire ecosystem a lot better, to be able to send specific messages based off of those tags, uh, be able to identify contacts based off of specific tags. So in the digital world, we need to be able to identify people like this in our ecosystem of contacts so that we can communicate with them accordingly and also so that it is easy for us to manage you know, who the heck we're connected with in the digital world. And so we can do that. We can apply what's called tags and tags are used in almost any sort of digital platform because that's it's what is most commonly used in order to segment audiences in digital tools, specifically in a tool like this, like a CRM. So think of it like that. You're, you're assigning a tag to a contact in your CRM so that you can segment them at that particular contact based on what it is that you want to know. So for instance, we're gonna jump into the Healing Tree account and I'm gonna give you an example. Out of our entire list of 1800 contacts, I want to only see the contacts that are approved practitioners. So this is where then um, approved practitioners is our onboarding process. So this would mean that anybody who has gone through the onboarding process, they filled out the application, we've reviewed it, we've approved it, they've uh, signed the agreement, all of those steps in place, um, they would fall under approved practitioners. So in order for me to do that, I would then have to uh, label all of these 1800, or not all of these, but whoever, instead of looking at these 1800 uh, contacts right here that you can see 1847 um, I would identify the ones that are approved and all this is automated I'm not doing this manually okay it's all automated but they would then be assigned a, an approved tag I believe that ours is approved is, a, is an approved tag let's actually open it up right here see there it is right there approved so um, now that boils it down to 110 contacts so you can already see one of the major benefits already is that it already makes it much more easier for me to go through my database and see who are the practitioners that are approved. Again, maybe I wanna send a specific message to only the practitioners that are approved to facilitate at the healing tree. Um, I, and I only wanna send it to them, right? And that's how I would do it. So as we get more advanced in all of this, you can use tags to trigger other automations. So for example, I can tell the system that anytime a contact is assigned the approved tag, I can set up a zap or a workflow that will automatically trigger a contract to send out. And that's actually one of our examples. Again, I'm gonna walk you through that, that whole process of, of onboarding our practitioners and, and how it's all automated. The important thing that I want you to understand here in using tags is to be specific, all right? Be specific, number one, and also have a reason or a use case for that tag. So it does require a little bit of some forward thinking and how are you going to use that tag down the road, okay? So a little bit of strategy, be specific uh, in how you want to identify that contact 
try not to tag everyone and any, everything and anything, okay? Uh, having a bunch of thousands of hundreds of tags doesn't make sense to do that. Now there's no harm in having that. It doesn't, it won't damage anything for you to have a whole bunch of tags, but it does help to keep them organized and keep them concise because then when you have too many, you're like, well, I don't know which one I use for which one it becomes a mess. So do try to keep them concise, try to keep them organized, be specific and have a, a, a forward thinking use case for that tag. All right. And so the last thing that I'm going to show you here is there are two ways to apply tags to your contacts. So inside of the contact section, uh, you would go in here and you would um, select the contact that you want to tag. And this is more of a manual process and you would scroll down. Remember inside of the contact section, not the conversations or, or the opportunities inside of the contacts, you would select the contact that you want to tag. And then if you scroll down, you click on that person's info, you scroll down under actions, you can see that we have this tag section. So under actions, we have the tag section. Now we want to apply, uh, let's just say VIP. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I want to identify this person as a VIP member for my awards program or something, right? And so simple, you can just go there and type it in. You add the tag. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that for now. I'm going to, and then that is one way. Number one, the second way is to, I'm going to go back just so that you can see what I did there. Um, go back to my menu down here. I'm going to click on settings and then inside of settings, uh, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find where it says tags. So I'm going to go ahead and click on tags right there. I think it's already, it's already going to be in here. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it just to show you how we can recreate it. But we would have come in here. We would go into that tag section right there and let's, let's do that do its thing. Pretty simple. You guys, we're going to click on that blue button right there at the top right hand corner. We're going to hit tag and then we are going to type in VIP boom. And then we're going to hit create. All right, my friends. So there you have it. Two ways to create tags, how to use tags, what they're about, what they do inside of the CRM. And actually there's a third way to create tags, which is an automated way to create tags, which is the best way to create tags so that you don't have to manually go in there and do them. But we're going to save that for a little bit more down the road when we get into workflows and we get to into some of the automation stuff and we're going to learn more about tags and, and how we can use them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead. And if you have any tags already, if you have any contacts, I don't think you have any contacts yet, but Maybe we'll wait till a little bit further down the road. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.